Hey guys, and welcome back to Car Build New Zealand. Today we will be installing a blow of valve. Now, my STI has a recycling stock blow valve, so what are we going to be doing is installing a new butterfly power one apparently so this is what it sounds like now so to get the butterfly noise we have to install one of these and I'm going to show you how to just do it now let's go That's where it needs to go. Okay, so these are tools and the things you're going to need. Obviously, um, uh, some sort of pliers, uh, two bottle caps to block off the hose, uh, a flathead screwdriver, and a couple of zip ties or maybe more because I am a qualified zip tie technician. And also the blow valve because without this, you won't be making no choo choo noises. Let's go. So in the STI is the blow valve. This is the intercooler and the blow valve should just sit here like so. It's just supposed to sit like this and make choo choo noises obviously. Um, the retain or whatever goes in there and there's a factory one down there so we can remove this so you don't get confused and as you can see there's a factory one so we'll have to undo these hose clamps and block off um, the pipe that's going back into the engine down there I don't know if you guys can actually see that but there's a little pipe right there going back into the engine so we have to block that with bottle caps or some sort of a PVC it's just under there, so you'll have to get your screwdriver in there and fiddle around with that a little bit. And this is obviously the factory recycling uh, valve there. This thing here, obviously going from your intercooler. So this is where the recycling blow valve was sitting in. This is going back into the engine again. So now I need to block that off with a cap. And obviously it's kind of hard to do it here, so you can undo these hose clamps and actually pull this off and do it not in the engine base because you might drop this on the floor make sure it's sitting nice and flush now use a screwdriver a bit just don't step your hand okay that's fitting over now what you want to do is just close it up it's much easier to do it while it's not in the engine bay and you're not breaking your back slide this on the thing we just blocked off. You can see the caps in there. Which means part is done. It's all blocked off and it's all sealed up. Now the easy part where we put the blow valve. So you want to put the hose on like that and then cut a hole in your bonnet and make sure this is sticking out so you can Just kidding. Blow valve on now goes on the hose, just like that onto the blow valve, and this is where the good fun part comes in. And my qualification kicks in as I am a qualified zip tie technician. So we will be zip tying this onto there, nice, snug and tight, and then putting it into a nicer location. So let's do that. So once you've decided how to place your blow valve, make sure everything is nice and tight. Check all your hoses. Make sure they're not, you know, bend. They've got come unplug or anything. Make sure they're tight and not loose. Make sure every single thing is nice and tight. Not too tight though, but tight enough so it doesn't pop off. Because boost can be pretty, pretty crazy. So there it is. Um, that's all blocked off as you can see down there. See that's blocked off, that's a blow valve and this house has been connected down to the blow valve and let's go for a boost and see what it sounds like. So a moment of truth, I'm going to put it in, start it up, hopefully it still idles mint and nothing explodes. Let's do this.
it's making that noise. Definitely. So that's basically how you install your blow valve. It's holding boost so much, I'm so happy. It's holding boost very strong, very firm. It's fluttering, it's making all sorts of noises, and it's awesome, I'm loving it. Um, with the front mount, it would sound even better. It'll be perfect, it'll be awesome. There'll be more mods to come on. So subscribe and wait for more goodness to come along.